Before we get into today's video, I just need to remind everyone to please do your own due diligence, take everything as entertainment only. I am not a financial advisor and these videos are actually all chosen by you. I get requests, I put down the vote on a weekly basis and this is today's winner. No such thing as the beat. What's the crack everyone? Welcome back to Buy Wholesale. I hope of course you are all well. As I said at the start of this guys, this is the, another weekly update vote you choose video. Um, and I've been doing these now for a good few months. Um, and every week you give me requests, people to give mention different stocks. Most of them I have never heard of and I put them to vote. Um, as you can see, we've got this week's poll currently on the go. It's neck and neck between Moon Parrot and Capita, both on 40% of, uh, of, of the voting. So yeah, still time to vote guys. Usually decide the winner on the weekend. So you've still got time to vote guys. Get on to the community tab on my YouTube channel and get voting for next week's video. But today's video guys, as it says there is, the winner was Omega Diagnostics, ODX is the ticker symbol. This is a UK stock on the AIM market. Um, I haven't covered one on the in market in a while, so I'm excited to get torn into this one. What I will say though is um, I'm very busy, I've started a new job, so today's video is very much going to be a high level overview, bit of new news, have a quick look at the charts, um, just to give everybody a bit of an idea. I'm absolutely swamped, but I promise that I get this video out and I like to keep my promises. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So if we just go on to Omega Diagnostics website, you can see straight away Omega signs contract with Screen4 to provide COVID-19 antibody laboratory based testing service, okay? So, um, I mean, it was in the name. You knew that it was kind of going to be to do with medical stuff. Um, so this looks obviously right on trend at the moment, guys, with the whole COVID pandemic that we have. Um, and it's a nice, slick, professional website. It looks to be, um, it gives you the latest news up, updates on the, the public sector, upcoming events, it tells you here where they're going to be, Germany, Atlanta, Dubai, though so there's plenty of promoting of, of the company, which looks very, very good. We can see that they're very much involved in the COVID-19, the global health, this, this tech which we'll look into, um, food tolerance and allergies. They've got this product, which is a copyrighted visit tech, which I hope I'm saying right. Um, is an advanced disease, benefits people living with HIV and healthcare providers. So nice little graph here tells you what it is. It's accelerated clinical disease management, reduced patient loss to follow up, test anywhere, anytime, it's reduced cost and improve patient outcomes. Um, what I also like about this here, before we go into the investor relations section, if we go onto the Twitter page, you can see here that they're active. They've got a good following as well. You can see some of their following stuff. We're delighted to announce that the UK government has valued our 11th of February contract to provide manufacturing capacity of COVID-19 lateral flow antigen test at 374 million. So huge, big contract to have. And we know that the pandemic situation, you know, it's, it's not just gonna go away. I would say there's at least another year of longevity in this. They seem to be very active on Twitter, which if anyone follows the channel, I'm very keen on companies that I invest in. They be very active on social media. I think it just helps um, get the product name and brand out. And I feel like it's just a new modern way of you know any company really should you be using these things as a way of being able to promote any of their products some good stuff here guys you know worth a good read obviously it's quite biased it's going to be coming from them but they're very active as you can see every other day there's just stuff being posted which is great to see facebook. and it's the same on their facebook page you know you can see here look we are hiring so that's a good sign as well hiring new people going back to the website then if we go to the investor relations page it was originally founded in 1987 was established in september 2006 when it completed a reverse acquisition. Since less than 2006, we have combined an organic acquisition growth strategy to establish and a significant presence in the chosen product and, and geographic areas. We focus the specialized product categories together with core um, competency of export sales has allowed us to establish a strong sales track record. They talk about some sort of the products that they've had and some of the good wins that they've had. They talk about the two different deeds, but as recent 2018, a restructure of our operations was carried out whereby our four UK companies were amalgamated into one identity, Omega Diagnostics. Further to this, in 2018, we disposed of our infectious disease business, with the exception of Visitec, which we talked about there as the whole HIV thing, and international specialists in clinical diagnostics. You can see here are some of the directors. We can see here, guys, the share price is at 64.5, down 7% on the day, so that's quite a drop. And if we even just look at the last year, we can see it's kind of been of an up and down, up and down situation. But we'll have a look into that more better. Going to Simply Wall Street, guys, I've been paying for this year. I think it's great um, to allow you to get a high level overview before you decide on whether you should get invested in the stock. So let's have a look and see what Simply Wall Street is saying. Okay, so the market cap's 126.2 million. Seven day returns up 14.9%. 
speed in the market, guys, which is good over the years, 26.4%, which is, you know, a nice return over a year, no doubt about it. So it's saying, guys, look, long-term price volatility versus the market. ODX is right at the top, guys, which isn't great. Valuation is 5.19x, uh, price to book ratio. So, you know, that's not, not ideal really either. It's unprofitable. Future growth, guys, um, is forecasted between the next one to three years to be up 17.2%, and that'll be based on their earnings and the reporting that they're putting out. It has no analyst checks, so it's purely going by old, um, Omega's facts and figures. Last year's growth, 2,145.8% down. Um, again, we haven't looked into that, but with the whole COVID thing, you would have thought actually it would have done quite well this last year, so that is concerning. But at the same time, it looks like that's a massive part of their business now where they didn't have that before. So perhaps they were on a downward trend. But just not reading too great here. Return on equity, return on assets, everything's kind of down. Um, the financial health, how is Mega Diagnostics Group financial position? Analyst checks is six out of six. So we're doing well here. Short term assets, 11.5. Um, versus its liabilities 1.5 million long-term liabilities 11.5 versus 3 million so you know that's good at least the company looks to be in a good position to write out any current issues that they're having you know debt free appears to be which is good as well obviously that's brilliant guys no dividend the average year management is 9.7 years that's good you know you know we want a company there that someone's been there a long time knows the company knows exactly what they're doing the direction colin king himself the actual ceo has been there three and a half years getting quite a nice salary of two hundred thousand pounds um i always do think you know companies yes medical companies are there to make money but i always think you know big ceos take a big beer for considering you know they're they're meant to be helping people you kind of feel like you shouldn't get big beer for that you know you're taking money off uh, the table or you're charging big fees for like for example the COVID you know to trying to help the world and all that yes business should make money but it does just doesn't feel right with me sometimes when they're taking big salaries especially when you consider where it, where it was and the money that the company was making and it's went down you know I don't see his salary going down good long tenures though guys and they seem to be a stake minor beer in it to be fair but you know they've got a good stake in the company which is good shows intent you can see over the last six to nine months, they've invested quite heavily within the shares themselves. Obviously, maybe on the back of that COVID thing, they're thinking that the company is, is up for a good stake here. Recent insider transactions, a buy, Colin King, individual, bought on the 1st of December. So about six months ago, quite a significant buy at, at 0 0.53 cents. So we have got a rise since then. And we have a look at some of the top um, shareholders here. We've got fund managers, AJ Bell, obviously Barclays is involved. It looks to be that they've all increased their stakes uh, as well, which is very good. And they've all got big beer in it, guys. You know, some of the big players are all, like a lot of people are invested in this year, which uh, it's obviously a good thing. 152 employees based in England, as we said. Also, it's on the pink sheets, which is good. Um, OTCPK, which is good. Giving you that exposure. If we just type in the company into Google, then there seems to be quite a lot of recent articles coming out. So they do seem to be very much in the news. Omega Diagnostics partner requests independent COVID test evaluation. So the London listed medical diagnostics company said MoLogic is partner is developing a rapid coronavirus test. Has requested research lab ported down to evaluate this test with an independent party observing. The move comes in response to the media speculation that mold logic tests have been blocked by the UK government. So um, they're involved there as a partner. It'd be interesting to see what that does. That's obviously right on trend. They're talking about rapid tests. Omega Diagnostics makes regulatory progress for Visitech COVID-19 test. Omega Diagnostics said it is making progress to gain regulatory approval for its Visitech COVID-19 antigen test as a self-test product and for US professional use. Um, we've talked about them being on the USA market, so there is exposure there. The testers are already CE marked for professional use and the company is targeting approval by the end of July to allow the test to be sold in Europe for home use as well. So guys, potential big catalyst there, huge potential. Um, if they can get that through in the next sort of six weeks, that will just get the thing going. <laughs> you can see it's had a couple of spikes, but it kind of went sideways. And then surprise, surprise guys, on the back of the COVID pandemic, which is a lot of what their product seems to be about. Um, you can see here sort of in April, I assume without looking into it, that they've obviously done something to do with COVID because it is absolutely shot up. Anybody that was in and around 10 cents mark was delighted with this guy straight up. Okay guys, at a high level, then we'll just put up some um, technical stuff here. We can kind of see it was in this channel, it has fell. 
um, and it looks to be in here and it looks to be some sort of support so if you are considering getting in this here supposing in anywhere around the 50p mark would probably be good so you're kind of in and around where the ceo bought so you feel kind of comfortable with that so we can see there are, you know there is some support around this level but guys for me personally omega is not going to be one that i'm going to be investing in the reason being i'm just so tired of covid i don't want anything to do with it i especially don't want a stock that is so heavily involved in it motions aside just looking at the stock it's, it's in its entirety simply wall street isn't really giving me that warm fuzzy feeling that it should be a stock that i should be investing in again very dependent on covid and, and that could be cut short at any time the negative stuff aside on the flip side of that there the price that it's currently at isn't um, a too bad of a price compared to where it's been over the last 18 months so it's not it's not the worst price maybe phase the money in perhaps and write it up to the catalyst um, if they can get that quick testing done that should be a good sort of catalyst for the thing to maybe potentially get a good rise so there's something there for potential investors it's not a completely no there's some big big institutions backing it so there is obviously a lot of interest in the stock and it is a good solid company it's in the uk and the uk is going through a transition with brexit and what the deals that that looks like going forward for the future so it's kind of in the middle it's maybe like a hold um if you know the whole channel is a buy hold sell I'd be holding this if I had this stock. I don't, so I'm not gonna buy it, guys. Look, that's the high level overview. Um, and can I ask you just to go on, check out again the vote for next week, get voting, check out in the description below links to free trade, get diversity, guys. You've got to. I really, really can't advise getting diversity in your portfolio, having multiple brokers, spread the risk spread the compensation across and free trade you'll get a free share up to 200 pounds so go down and check out the link for that other stuff there as well discount codes crypto all that good stuff i'll catch you on the next video guys enjoy the rest of your day and your weekend Peace.